And it's very effective as well if it's in the right hands. And I'm, I'm very sure JT will know exactly what to do with this. Still, LGD need to reveal a bit more for us. They are still lacking two more cores on their side of things. And Radiant team well, there's one of them. It's going to be the Ursa. Ooh. That should be the Chalice Hero. Yeah, I really like that for LGD. You've got the Ogre Magi to buff you up even more. You've got all the control here. Um, you've got the Venge to swap you out if ever you're being kited around too much. There is value there coming out there as well. And of course, you have to factor that Venge Aura and the Wave. The Minus Armor is going to benefit him. The added stats are going to benefit the Ursa. There isn't too much team fight here from LGD. That could be an issue. And we saw IG kind of pull ahead in the last game because of that team fight control they were finding. So that's something LGD has to be a bit weary about when it comes down to a big 5v5. If IG does play that aggressive, they will not have the exact amount of control to counteract just all the control IG has in an area. Well, IG, I'll have a bit of a think about this fourth pickup. Still lacking two more cores of their own. That Earth is going to be a bit of a pain to go up against, especially for poor old JT on the Mars. They'll need to, need to figure out a way to deal with this Ursa as well. And they could go back to the Morphling if they really want to. You'll have that natural disarm in the, uh, in the Ethereal Blade. Nice kite ability with that Morphling as well. It can get a little bit concerning once you do have the, uh, the, ab the Abyssal Blade up on the Ursa, but... Before that, you're usually pretty safe on the morph. Team but no, they'll Ooh. go down the Terror Blade route, which does still make quite a bit of sense. Yeah, it's uh, not the best for LGD. They don't quite have the best amount of wave clear here with your heroes. They also don't have the best magic damage. I mean, it's the Ogre and Mirana, I guess, in terms of bursting through that high armor hero. Five not quite... Remaining the burst you're looking for though to deal with a terror blade early on so a lot of value for ig there they will have to play around SG, that metamorphosis LGD timing that's something we back. like to talk about when the terror blade makes an appearance you have to make sure that you maximize that down the line especially past the 10 minute mark can't just be about farming anymore you need to start looking at objectives or kills with the metamorphosis uses well, two more bands to come out for LGD. They get rid of the Kunkka first. IG, they did get rid of the TA there for Somnus, and they've got one more band to go. Of course, you did bring this up in the, the first game draft, but Somnus does sometimes go back to the mid Mirana. So it's not necessarily set out that this is going to be a position for Mirana, but it, it could potentially be placed in that mid lane. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but you never really know. Hmm. Yeah, it's, a, it's an option for LGD if they wanted to flex a bit more here. Um, it's a bit of a risky flex, though. Uh, they do have last pick. So RG's going to have to show their hand first after these ban outs, which might give LGD the room to go for a swap like that. They ban out the Monkey King now. LGD. They're just looking to get rid of an emo hero as well. Five seconds remaining. I wonder what emo does go down this this game with. Like it's what hero does emo have left? They'll get rid of the storm, which is one of the uh, the popular picks for emo. PSG LGD. Okay, so go for the void spirit. How can I forget? Yeah, it fits nicely into the lineup. You can join these fights as soon as you hit six. So IG, they've got a lineup that does get pretty explosive as soon as they find that EXP. It can really buy the space out for Flyfly's Terrorblade if they really need it to get big. This lineup will be able to force that aggression out onto LGD early on. LGD, um, they've got to find their matchup now. Um, Options are limited. A lot of the meta heroes were again banned out and the Void Spirit's been picked up. They do roll with a Bat Rider. Interesting way to close that one out. Uh, is, does that mean the Somnus Moranus in this game? Or? Possibly. 
uh, they could run the mid bat rider, but FY is going to mm. take the Ven. Mm. So yeah, Somnus yeah. will take the mid Marana. All right. Hmm. And so we're going to have yeah. the old eleven bat rider in the off lane, which should do some really nice work up against that terror blade. And that, that's one way to shut Fly Fly down in that laning stage for sure. Uh, I I don't necessarily mind this. Like the last time we saw Somnus's Marana, he did have quite a huge impact. So, uh, yeah. again, I just can't doubt these guys. For sure. I, I think LGD, they've closed their draft out quite nicely, actually. The Bat Rider, you mentioned it, but this is the damage and control you are looking for for a hero like the Terrorblade. You're going to be able to burn through that armor uh, regardless of the state of game, and the lasso is always going to be good. There's nothing from IG to break that lasso. They don't have the Venge themselves. They don't have the Oracle. They don't have an Abaddon or even a Shadow Demon to save you. So... You're getting a lot of value from that last pick, Batrider, and IG, they have to play fast enough to shut LGD out from finding farm under Ursa, from having old 11 start to be a menace. They have to be very cautious about just how much early damage LGD's lineup can pump out. Such limited imagination. What is that? <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I never... Oh, that's amazing. I never... Oh, and the music just keeps going. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so, like, he's just spamming that taunt, and there's just nothing you can do to stop the music. It's just, if JT wants the music to be played, it's being played. All right. I, I never really quite realized that uh, with that taunt, it came with that kind of little soundtrack for, uh, for the Mars. It's the first time I'm hearing it, to be frank with you. I... Yeah, I, I guess JT's just gonna spam this whole game. Yeah, you've got to show it off. Look at that. It's so stylish. Why wouldn't you spam that? But what is he doing? Is it? Uh, is that meant to be a dance? I I guess I guess it's like a dance. Kind of. Yeah. I mean that that sounds like a dance to me. It looks like a dance. With a shield. Oh. Hundred battle points just straight off the bat there. Every time I uh, pop one of those dark portals, I just, I don't know, get some big AM head or some Phoenix yeah. flying out. Or... Then we get we get into a pro game. The first one they use, they always get battle points. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Look at that. He even puts down the disco ball to dance around with Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, JT. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> He's having a grand old time with his battle pass. Still out there, uh... Gonna be posturing a bit. It's just Chalice, though. With nice. FY around. Yeah, he'll see them and back off. FY is gonna try and go for the steal, but Ollie was there to secure the other bounty rune, and he'll make his run down to the bot lane. It'll be a two for two trade, a very even start. But I can, uh. I can say that I, I really do like this Bat Rider pickup. Because that we were talking about the Terror Blade and how you're gonna deal with that, that huge base armor. That the uh, Terror Blade does come with. Batrider doesn't really care for that. It's a sticky Napalm and Firefly. It, it kind of solves all the issues. Yeah, it's, it's going to be able to take control over Fly, especially when Metamorphosis is down. So Fly, got to be cautious about the usage of that. Is going to use it straight in the wave. We haven't seen that in a while, but of course this is the safest play just to clear out that first wave for yourself. Yeah, just got to do it. They know they're in for a tough lane here. Just get that Metamorphosis on cooldown as soon as you possibly can. And have it back up as soon as you possibly can. Of course, that mid lane, you'll see Somnus there up against Emo on that Void Spirit. Nice little Aether Remnant out from Emo to catch out Somnus. But, uh... Somnus should have a relatively decent time here. Like, the chances of him dying on this Mirana is extremely low, especially once you have that leap up and bot lane, fly fly. Gets very close to dying, but old Levin isn't quite able to finish off the, the job. So Salve will come out. But what I was trying to say is in that mid lane, the odds are that this Mirana probably won't die unless we see rotations coming in and of course, Emo can do that and just hit the Aether Remnant, but it's not really that long of a duration to rely on. Nah, it's uh, still a better time for Emo in terms of last hit so far, but 
It's gonna be a really even lane. The point when it starts to pull away is level five to six, although Sums. He's just gonna just... jump in with the Starfall, but it's gotta be careful. Emo with that Resonant Pulse can absorb quite a bit of damage from Somnus, and he may just not care every time he leaps in like that. Yeah, it's a bit risky, and you have to remember the Resonant Pulse is making him a lot tankier. You don't have that same innate tankiness on this Marana. Of course, uh, Somnus can just maybe go for some creeps later on, but without a level in the arrow, you know, you're not going to find those big creeps in the side camps. The one lane we haven't talked about at all yet is that top lane where Chalice is going to be up against JT, and... Of course, they're going to have the support there of the Phoenix and FY on the Venge. Chalice, he's just falling a little bit behind JT there on the Mars, but it's somewhat to be expected at these earlier levels. And bot lane, first blood does occur, old 11. Committing the Firefly, getting the kill on the easy clockwork. Yeah, it's uh, again, not an amazing time for this bot lane. You're hitting the point where old 11 does start to kick in. It only gets worse from here, especially once you hit that level 4 mark. Uh, just having way too much damage to contend with on that bot lane. Old 11, every time he does have that fire fly up, you almost look to try and get a kill. Of course, they do want fly fly instead. Ollie now is going to come in with the Battery Assault and try to harass Old Eleven out a little bit, but it is only a level 1 Battery Assault. But with that Metamorphosis, it's a lot of damage that can come out here from the side of IG. But now they'll turn around back onto Ollie. But I believe while Flyfly is there in that meta, it is probably not a safe bet to try and make the dive. The Old Eleven will play it safe and just back out. X Nova. Might have to do the same. He's taking a fair bit of harassment there from Flyfly. In fact, Old Eleven's dead. They just stuck around a bit too long. Not respecting the damage output of Flyfly, and it it does cost them. Yeah, it's a really big pickup for Fly. Just turning around the early losses you expect from the Batrider lane. And as long as they maximize that meta like this, you're going to be struggling to shut down that terribly. You know, it's a, you really do have to win out early on against this hero, otherwise it gets out of control. Now looking back to that mid lane as well, Emo is going to be trading quite evenly there with Somnus. Both heroes have been focusing on farm, the nice arrow out from Somnus, and now he jumps in with the Leap Star fall, but it's not going to be quite enough. It does drop the Void Spirit very, very low, and... He's going to need to just rely on that 5 minute boundary rune to get his bottle filled up. Still trying to survive. Starfall, not going to be there. Somnus does eventually bring it out and... Or oh, Emo. <laughs> May have forgotten that Resonant Pulse does not block out magic damage. The, well, that level 3 Starfall, it's a lot of damage. You really can't afford to underestimate Somnus's damage output. Again, with a focus for him on magic gonna be able to eat through that Void Spirit, eat through the Terrorblade once he gets a side rotation and it's gonna be a bit tricky now for Emo. He's slightly behind in EXP. He needs level 6 or level 7 before he can start getting out on the side lanes and because of these matchups IG's put themselves into, you can't expect rotations out. Top lane, FY getting caught out by JT and Kaka. Ends up going down on that bench. Chalice has just been very, very focused on trying to secure his own farm. And you know, I kind of wonder, do we see the Battle Fury build come out this time for Chalice on this Ursa? Like, even throughout this new kind of economy patch? Yeah, I, I think it's still pretty darn good. Not much has changed about it. It still fixes the issues an Ursa has, and it's just a lot of value for them in this game. It helps you deal with the Terrorblade illusions as well and do a lot of damage in a bigger area. So it's still a very value pick specifically for the Ursa. And Chalice, he is going for it, is set for a pretty good pace, Holdo. Yeah, nice Hopping spear out too much JT. Damage. Mid lane, there's going to be a rotation onto Emo. He has got that level 6, but FY was just around the corner. And decides better of it. He won't bother trying. Back up towards that top lane where Kaka was falling very, very low, but now the arena does get dropped. He does just jump out of the arena. And Chalice might look to go back in, but the spear even landing from JT. 
The poor Ursa just not being able to get away from anything. And bot lane, Fly Fly, gets a double kill on the oh. Terror Blade, but Somnus does rotate and does get him. In fact, he might get Oli as well, and it looks like he will. And top lane, they're fighting. Chalice does go down. Emo with a great rotation on top. FY just going to try and make a run for it, and he should be fine to get out. There's no more charges of the actual step left. But uh, both uh, teams getting very aggressive with each other. Yeah, the trade does end up fairly evenly, I'd say. LGD does get a little bit more in exchange. IG does pull away with a slight net worth advantage, though. Less than 1k, really even on the board. And the biggest thing here is... Fly needs to start transitioning to the jungle. Even with those kills, this is not a lane you want to keep sustaining. That's going to give well, 11 some space to find his CXP. And Ollie is getting a lot on that pause 5 clock. Is it level 5? So just freeing up the lanes with a Terra Blade like this does allow the greedier supports to find those EXP timings. And once you have 6 on Ollie, it's going to be ready to jump around the map a lot more. He's about there. We haven't really seen as much pressure pressure as you would have liked out of old eleven. So uh, having a much harder time than you would have first expected up against that terror blade. Somnus just gonna follow up the jungle, giving space over to uh to X Nova in that mid lane on the ogre. Now might they might be able to set up on emo later on. The top lane is where the action was at, until the Icarus Dive was out from Karkar. Now they're going to try and turn around onto Chalice. Arena going to come out. He does get the Enrage off, but JT is being very patient with the Spear. In fact, he's not just being patient. He doesn't have it right now. He does get it eventually, Ooh. but a great dodge out with the, with the uh, sidestep from Chalice. Eventually, he will make his way out of that situation, but bot lane, old 11. Very close to killing off Fly Fly, but Ollie will just chase him down and secure the kill himself. Dyer's Next Nova, uh, he wasn't around to, to really help out. This is the point where the clockwork gets really tricky. You've got the cogs, you've got the uh, you've got the hookshot as well, and all the control just to find kills like this. Yeah, Emo, just great rotation out, gets a nice easy ogre kill. Chalice, well, he's thinking about going onto JT. FY trying to rotate himself in on the Venge, but you can't really get in range for that magic missile quite yet. In fact, they'll just turn around. Chalice not expecting the spear back into the tree. He didn't pop the enrage. JT just waiting till he gets into that fog before he actually turns around. And it's just great play out from this Mars. Yeah, IG has really kept Chalice under check. This has widened their lead to 2k. They've slowed down that Ursus farm. He's going oh. for the drums. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, okay. you know, I, I went from saying great Mars to just dying to a magic missile and an <laughs> auto attack from FY. <laughs> it's, uh, it's those taunts, you know. Uh, sometimes you spam them out a bit too much and do pay the cost. It's still really good, right? You're still slowing down the Ursa. You see Chalice actually going for the drums instead in this case, and it, it's not the fastest timing. He's still finishing up those phase boots as well, and IG, they're not relenting in this pressure. They want that top lane gone. They drag Emo up here as well. They do. Rotations are out from Somnus and X Nova. That Aether, I'm not going to make it a bit hard. Oli missed the hook shot there onto FY. Arena, going to be there. They just want the easy kill onto that bench, and they will be able to get it. Although, nice arrow coming in from Somnus now, and he just jumps in for a huge star fall. JT still alive throughout all this as Chalice is going to keep trying to chase, but he's being kited around. They do get JT on the Mars. Now Emo on the Void Spirit is looking to go down, and he does. So X Nova will continue chasing. He'll get the Fire Blast onto Ollie, and now the arrow will come out from Somnus, and that's going to be a 3 for. Three for nothing? No, it was a three for one. FY goes down, but... Well, now Karka might die. Somnus? No, he won't chase any further. So a three for one up at that top lane. and They got the Venge, but after that, it was just the Somnus show. 
Yeah, they're really maximizing the early aggression the core Marana can bring you and This is what LGD does when they have this pickup. Just try to be early, uh, active early on and find those early kills. Issue is, they're not finding uh, that pesky TB. So you're still getting good farm there in Soms. Hey, he was being chased up. Hookshot going to be great out from Ollie with the Kongs pushback, but Somnus is still alive. Ooh. Now old 11, he does get the lasso off, but Emo, no, he will die. But can they get the egg in time? They cannot. X Nova, he'll go down. And old 11 will just make a run for it, but that Sunray burning him out. Now swap out from FY onto that Phoenix, but Kaka should just be fine. And FY may have overextended a little bit on that bench, and he should have eventually just go down here and he will ollie the one to pick up the kill now with the battery assault yeah it's a really good trade for ig you're not happy about losing emo like that but you still find some decent kills there and you do get fly to space to push up that top tier one so your terror blade's hitting it all of its timings you've already got the yasha up on fly fly looks like he is going to go for that basic s and y build coming up next uh and give him a nice little boost here enables him to fight early if he wants but with this kind of skill build looks like the focus is just on farm and ig they've played around this four protect one quite nicely lgd they're still trying to get space for chalice he still does not even have the drums up yeah, it's a real slow process here for the Ursa. and even once once those drums are up i mean that's basically saying i want to join my team and fight top lane old 11 has been caught by JT in that arena. He will go down. Another great kill out from, from JT. And it looks like IG aren't quite done. They want to keep going. Keep finding more kills. However, there is going to be a star fall straight onto Fly Fly. And that Terror Blade now going down. It was off the back of the Fire Blast and Arrow of Somnus and X Nova. They're going to rotate into that mid lane where they can potentially get emo on that void spirit if they could land the fire blast first no he'll be out of range he'll be just fine i guess you are still very very satisfied knowing that terror blade did just go down yeah it's a big pickup for lgd not quite enough to really take the wind out of fly fly sails but it's a start you know you're giving yourself a lot more space on chalice they do smoke off want to do something here arrow it's not gonna... Oh, it does land. A great swap out from FY. And, uh, well, the names are so long that you can't even see who died, but it was Emo. Ollie will also go down to the clockwork. And they will get the mid-T1 tower. But I love that little play of the swap into the arrow from FY. Yeah, you cannot... You cannot afford to overextend a bit there. Even just slightly. The Venge will abuse that. And it's working out well for LGD. They find that tier 1 mid, giving themselves superior map control now. So they can just go in the jungle, keep Chalice on that Radiant Jungle side to find his farm. And that will limit Flyfly's area. He's still got some space here, but not the safest spot to be in anymore. Oh, old 11, Arena, gonna come out that Batrider, again being caught by JT. Such an easy kill for JT once he does get the Arena down. They popped a smoke straight away, but it was broken by X Nova. FY gets scattered out. Nice little blink dodge there from JT. Arena. Oh no, rather Ooh. Arrow does land. But do they have the follow-up? Emo is coming in on the Void Spirit. X Nova might be the one to go down. He will. Now IG just grouping up and making sure they do it as a team. They are very, very strong when they've got all four or five members of their uh, of their team in one team fight. JT again finding FY on that bench. Ollie will be there with the follow up hook shot. There was a lasso out onto Emo, but there was no follow up damage to it. And Chalice he just TP's into the T1 tower. Luckily for him, there was no lockdown out from IG. Now the arrow landing on the poor Phoenix. LGD is still trying to find a way to jump into this team fight and initiate. X Nova forced to cancel his own TP on the Ogre. Nemo wants to keep going. Chalice still trying to go in. They missed the Spear onto Old 11. But IG eventually are going to be able to secure this tier 1 tower. Or maybe not. 
No, Fly Fly will turn around and ensure he does get it. And oh. now JT, a three-man arena being dropped. They are all stuck in there. Somnus does leap out. FY swaps himself out, but Xnova might die thanks to this. And he will. Poor old Xnova. Let's go down. Meanwhile, Chalice just securing creeps while he can. JT, though, another great spear out from the Mars. There's still no follow-up to it. Ollie looking for a hook shot, and he should be able to land one now, and he does. Chalice getting caught out. Do you have any damage, though? They're waiting for Emo on that Void Spirit, it seems. And, well, the Aether landed, but the Spear missed, and now the arrow's oh. going to fly through. It does land onto JT. Chalice still in a lot of danger. Does go down. Somnus now trying to leap his way out. Old Eleven back into this team fight, but he doesn't have Lasso yet. He does force the egg usage. And now, huh? Lasso is going to be committed onto the Mars. Somnus does have the follow-up damage. They do get JT. Hmm. It's uh, a lot of back and forth from both sides. Uh, IG do widen their lead, though, into 4K off the back of those fights. Fly Fly gets a lot of space. While all four heroes are kind of committed, he does have his Sanjin Yasha up on that terribly, so... A little bit more coming up from him. They're not done. No, they're not. FY gets a swap off onto Emo, so that Void Spirit gonna die. And FY doesn't have another swap yet, but he does have a stun. And that should mean Ollie also goes here on the clock, and yeah, he pops the blade mail, but the likelihood is he's is he's just gonna die. Gets the cogs off, but it doesn't matter. Gets yeah, uh not the biggest sacrifice there on the clock, but losing Emo is definitely big. That does give the blink out on all 11, giving them options to initiate. FY is still in trouble. Uh, he's being chased down, but Arena is just a bit too late. <laughs> but JT is still having the time of his life, regardless of uh, how many uh, Arenas do not connect. Uh, yeah, this is a... Uh... This is giving LGD space though. Like Chalice has used this time to slowly build up his Battle Fury Nexa. It's kind of odd that he takes that second instead of first, but should pay off if he gets a good timing and LGD, Moonlight Shadow, if he want to find a pick off here. Well, they just got the MKB up on Somnus. The JT is going to be the target. It's a lot of damage. Arrow does connect, but here comes Emo. And now the hook shot out from Ollie. They just want to burst down this Mirana. FY tries to swap him out, but it's no good. He does go down. Meanwhile, Kaka, he gets the egg off just in the nick of time. But Chalice is right on top of that egg, and he will secure the kill. And it does ultimately end up being a two for four trade with a buyback on top from the side of IG. And PSG LGD? Well, they, they just even out the net worth again. It's back down to around 1k, the way of IG. Yeah, and this is really massive for Chalice. He's one part away from the Battle Fury, so if they keep playing the stall game, the Ursa can start to catch up really quickly in terms of farm, and we've seen what Ursas can do when given that space. You're looking at the BKB timing, you're looking, you're looking at the Abyssal timing. You could argue that Flyfly Fly is also building up nicely, and he's got the Reaver up, looks to build into more durability here on the Terra Blade, but with these options now available for LGD with the blink on old 11 with with more damage onto Chalice, with more down damage on Somnus, it gets a bit tricky for you to really start to apply that pressure on that opposing Terra Blade, and again, the Terra Blade will always be limited by Metamorphosis, like right now, for example. He doesn't have it. He's vulnerable. Now Somnus is going to jump in. Fly, fly. Ooh, miss. The arrow there from Somnus, so can't quite get the Terra Blade, but he does get so much damage out. Still, Fly Fly is getting very close now to what seems to be a Satanic. So, perhaps just working towards those uh, those large items now on that Terra Blade. He is well and truly ahead in terms of net worth. And LGD is still on the hunt here up at that top lane, but they aren't quite able to scout anyone out because there's nobody there. So instead, it's time to go off that top T1 tower. And they'll just take what they can get. Yeah, it's a decent objective to take. Just uh, evens out the control on the map. Uh, Chalice does have his Battle Fury up, of course, on the Ursa. So this is actually a pretty decent time for them to start fighting or just start farming. Like, it goes both ways for that Ursa. You can start clearing out camps a lot faster. And again, 
This is the start of Chalice closing that gap out. So the item advantage you have in this Turblade, it's not going to be lasting for too long if you stall this game out. Could see a potential smoke or moonlight shadow here from LGD. No, they'll just get back to farming on their end of things. Looks like Somnus just wants to finish off that BKB first, but JT does not have that kind of patience. Jumps in with the arena, but the moonlight will be there and there was no real follow-up to the arena either. Just kind of testing the waters here from LGD. and LGD don't really respond to it. They just kind of let him be. It's a, it's a bit of a commitment. I, they were trying to stop the steal on the haste rune. So OV11, it's a Batrider with haste. That's a pretty scary thing to go up against. And I can see why you would want to deny that out. It does cost him a bit, but the time bought out does lead to Kaka having a disarm. So that happens. Halberd's in play. Uh oh. Yeah. Fly, fly. He's looking for a Sunder now in FY up at that top lane, but he won't bother. He'll just back off. You're getting to that so. point of the game where things are getting a little bit closer. The net worth still bouncing back and forth. You've got these core items being picked up on both sides. It seems like we're just waiting on those core pickups before we continue on with these team fights. Yeah. It's uh, going to be pretty key for both sides to get that uh, up, especially the BKBs. You're seeing Somnus work to his and JT trying to work up to his as well. So having those heroes be able to stand in front and just do the damage is going to be pretty important as these fights break up. Even Chalice just rushing that BKB next, knowing that you know, you need to just stand there and do your thing as the Ursa. You do see IG clump up, though, and they do smoke up. They will. Old Levin is going to be the target, and he won't be too hard to get. He runs straight into them. Try to run away, but it is too late for that. IG do manage to take him out. And it could be a Roshan play now from the uh, the side of Invictus Gaming, and Flyfly seems to want to do it. They do scan him out immediately, so LDD should be able to try and counter this Roshan play. They are quite far away, I've got to say. It looks like Somnus, no, he's not going to bother with the Roshan, but rather go after that tier 2 bot tower and maybe just try and force him back this way. But IG, they are not budging. They are going to finish off this Roshan. It's, uh, it's relatively tricky for LG to fight in there without the lasso, so I can see why they're hesitant to counteract that and this is going to make it harder for LGT to fight in just having that second life available on emo makes it harder to uh, control that void spirit and you're also seeing fly fly he's finished up that satanic so he has a lot more durability in the middle of these fights and can really just turn around and hit people when he's low yeah, that he can IG now looking through their jungle, seeing if they can find a straggler. And uh, that straggler could be old Levin. And it is. Reina is going to be there with the spear out from JT, and he gets caught out once again. The poor guy, it just seems to be him every time. Just a bit of added goal there for the side of IG now. But LGD, they don't seem too dissuaded in going in. They go after Fly Fly. They're terribly taking a fair bit of damage here from Chalice. They need some kind of uh, disable. Flyfly Fly still just trying to run away, holding on to that Sunder. Perhaps looking to turn around, he'll Sunder the Phoenix instead. Still, they do go after Ollie on that clock. JT trying to fight. They do kill off Somnus on that Mirana. And FY now to go down on the Venge. In fact, Flyfly Fly does also kill off Chalice. Oh, man. It's uh, not the trade LGD was looking for. Um, Chalice was trying to really push the edge onto Flyfly, Fly, but that Satanic just turned him around and found his clean kills, and Ex Nova? Well, he's not going to be living for too long. Let's see. Just jump in. That'll be the full team wipe, basically, coming up by G. They're just slowly starting to take over this game again. It was a very, very uh, preemptive kind of fight. Like, they just lost old 11, but they still wanted to jump in and take it. It was a, a bit strange to me that they actually made that decision, not having the Batrider at least to to back them up a little bit. Like, had you had that lasso, 
you may have been able to just get the Aegis off Fly Fly and try to secure a secondary kill straight away. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it is a strange point to say the least handle. Yeah, Arena is going to be there. They've caught out FY. The Venge does die. And now the Lasso is there from the Batrider. But Old Eleven needs some help. Somnus will jump in with the Starfall. It is going to be enough to take down JT. But he'll buy back. Or rather not. Just uh, He just starts all chatting. Kaka going to be chased down. He'll drop the egg. They are still going after that Emo Void Spirit. And they do get him. Now Fly Fly trying to jump back in after Chalice. But Fly Fly eventually decides he'll just TP out. And that'll leave Ollie by himself on this clockwork to try and make the same TP play, but he will not be so lucky. X Nova will cancel that off. And you got to ask yourself, who's winning this game, John? Uh, it's it's one team fight after another. Both teams just kind of uh, just switching the roles every single time. In fact, Fly Fly might Why? be dead. Oh, no. Gets Yules up. Chalice in great position. They got the arrow off as well from Somnus. And Fly Fly, he has no way out of that. Hmm. That's, uh, again, back and forth from both sides. You win one fight, you lose one fight, you win the next fight. It does even out. It's a slight lead now for LGD. And who's winning? That's a tough one to answer. Even, even though the plus is a bit confused, Mike. 49 to 51%. So... Even game, I'd say that's a very fair judgment. The issue now for IG is after they take one fight, they can't afford to fight again because Fly Fly's metamorphosis is what they play around now. So LGD understand that. Like every time they lose a fight, they know they can take the next one because that, that big spell is gone. And they've got a lot more damage that can fly out from Chalice. They have to be cautious about the disarm. That's been a constant issue for our Ursa, but they've been doing well so far. Arena, JT, he's caught three, but he is alone. Chalice will go on to him. Emo trying to jump in as well to have some follow-up damage, but JT is certainly going to die to Chalice. They also ended up getting Ollie and Kaka on the Phoenix dying, and now Emo. Ooh. It was basically a full team wipe. The only person that wasn't there was Fly Fly on the Terror Blade. He just respawned. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna be a difficult one to defend alone as the Terror Blade. You're gonna go straight for the push. There is a metamorphosis up in Fly Fly though. There is. But he can't really commit it by himself. It's not gonna be anywhere near enough to force the side of LGD back. I believe you just kinda have to accept that you've lost this tier this uh, tier three tower in the mid racks. Luckily for IG, they can't take any other lanes of racks because there are tier two towers still standing. But they'll get the mid racks. They'll be more than happy. Now with the 6k net worth lead on LGD side, they'll back off. Back to farming for them. Yeah, you're really close to Chalice picking up his own MKB. That's going to skyrocket his damage up, give him a lot more presence in the fights. Should look to start building up towards the Abyssal on that Ursa as well, just to ensure you have that mobility that the hero does really need to start shining. Uh, you can kind of see the same build up here for IG. I mean, Fly Fly is looking to upgrade that four staff into the Hurricane Pike, which is just better stats and more utility for the Terror Blade to fight with. The bigger pickups would be the Ags for Emo and the Ags for Ollie. Once you have that on your two utility heroes, the clockwork with Ags is just so much control that can fly out that could catch LGD off guard. The issue is, you're going to have to give Ollie some of that laning farm, and it is rather unsafe to go this far out now with how much control LGD does have on the map. LGD. What's the, what's the play now? Roshan, still a while to go before that's up. So pop a Moonlight Shadow. Emo. Knows it's coming. Ollie did scan it out with the rocket flare. and They shouldn't really be able to catch anyone out here. There's going to be a counter smoke. Arrow. Just going to fly through. Chalice, he does a... Uh... Hook shot. Oh. Uh, it was blocked off by one of the heroes. There is going to be a, a spear out. It does catch Chalice, but he will just kind of earth shock out of it. Now Ollie going to be targeted. He will go down to the clock. JT drops the arena, but FY will swap X Nova out of there. And well, FY 
just kind of standing there right now, but Chalice does get Kaka on. Now the lasso oh, yeah. is going to be out on Fly Fly. It does eventually get cancelled off. They are going to go after that Terror Blade. He's a bit of a sitting duck. He gets the Sunder off. Now the spear out from JT, but it's not going to be enough. Fly Fly just cannot survive, but they at least get Chalice as a trade. But old 11 now going back in with the Flame Break. They do get Ollie. Now JT burning alive in the fire and the egg is the only thing left, but not for long. It's old 11 gets a triple kill on the Bat Rider. And they, they get another big team wipe. Those were two diebacks on the side of IG. You lost the buyback in Phoenix and Clock. Those are massive pickups for LGD. That will open up a high ground push if they wanted. The Roche, when it respawns, they can easily take this tier to his wall if they do shove the lanes out. That's the one boon for IG is that they did find the Ursa and the lanes were shoved out in their favor. So there's not much in the way of objectives that LGD can really find for that one big win and does mean there's a little bit more breeding room left for IG as they do start to respawn. Now, LGD just making the, uh, the more strategical play. They're just going to start trying to force down that top, the top lane and bring that decent creep wave in. Whether they actually go and commit to the tier 2 towers is another story, because the Roshan is actually up now. I believe the Xnova did spot that out. Of course, the Rocket player from Ori, well, excuse me, Ollie, is going to spot it out as well. Now the pings do come out, so they might slowly might start making their way there. Back no. Bot lane. Old 11. Thought about going for a lasso onto Emo, but he does Astral step out. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Uh, take a look at Flyfly. He's queued up that Divine Rapier now on the Terrible Blade, knowing that he does need that burst damage. Rush is up. It is. Smoke up. Roshan already half HP. Chalice just going to rush forward with that bloodlust and Lasso is going to be out onto JT. Can they burst him down in time? It looks like they probably can and they will. He will buy back. Flyfly Fly, being chased down by Chalice. He needs some help right now. The arrow will not land. Arena is there from JT. It's an absolute mess on this high ground, but nobody from LTD is dying. X Nova might go down, but no FY. He gets a swap off. And he's just going to make a run for it, swapping the soft back out with old 11. And old 11 just back in there, dancing circles around Fly Fly. Emo eventually is going to be able to get X Nova, but the chase is on. Old 11 is still going after Fly Fly. Oh no. He just kills him off with, with the Fire Fly. And now JT. Oh. This could be a dieback on the Mars, and it will be. Chalice gets it. It's. I mean, old level uh, was literally just running circles around the Terror Blade with Firefly, <laughs> and it, and it worked. Yeah, it's uh, again the Terrace crew had physical armor that opens up the Roche now for LGD, and they found so many. They they found that JT dieback. You still have cooldowns on the buyback for the Phoenix for the Clocks. So if they risk it, it's going to be a massive loss for them. Aegis does go to Chalice. They've got the cheese on top of that as well for Somnus. Everything you could possibly need for the high ground push is set up, except for those shoved out lanes, but it should be too much of an issue for LGD. Jump in, old 11. Look for a lasso target. He wanted a car car, but Ollie will interrupt, so maybe instead of that, you just go after the clockwork. That's exactly what they'll do. The Ollie just doesn't move, he knows. The chances of survival were very, very low. Thing is, with those T2 towers still up, they can't actually go for any other lanes of racks. They've got to kind of go back and actually secure those T2 towers first. And LGD will start off with this bottom T2. Yeah, it's uh, the only boon that IG had was to shove out lanes. They've been really disciplined in maintaining them outside, but there's only so long you can maintain that. LGD does, does take it out in the end, and this is going to be a really fast push. The right click. What's that, Mirana? It's a yeah. machine gun. It is. That's without the leap attack speed. 
It's like, how do you, how do you really stop this as IG? You've just fallen so far behind. 26k net worth. Fire Blast going to be out from X Nova. Now the swap out, FY, he did get fly, fly, but the arena is going to be there from JT. Chalice right on top of that Mars. They do kill off FY, but JT is also dead. Now the lasso, Kaka, he'll die in the Phoenix, and now fly, fly, he's gone as well. There's only one left, and it's going to be Emo on the Void Spirit. He does get the Aegis, but they might just dive the fountain. You gotta be careful. <laughs> that is a lot of damage from the fountain now with that uh, that added fury swipe mechanic with the fountain, but it doesn't matter. They've called the GG. And LGD will pull off this victory 2-0 up against IG. Yeah, they maintain that win streak over IG. Dominant performance from LGD. IG, there were signs of brilliance there, especially in game one, but LGD was just a bit too much again. If you give LGD the space, they will snatch a lot more away. And IG, well, they do lose out this time around. Going to have to find another series to finally find that win over LGD in a different time. Absolutely. With that, John, that is it for us tonight as well. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow night for some some more uh, some more interesting Chinese Dota. I, I am enjoying these drafts, I've got to say, that have been coming out from these teams. It's been very different ever since the new patch came out. And it's what we love to see has been quite a bit of fun. Still, it is MLP Dota and Johnny X Fire. It's been an absolute pleasure. And we'll see you all again tomorrow night for some more great Chinese Dota. We'll see you then.